Shalom. First and foremost, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles. And shout out to your brothers doing this thing with sincerity and truth and with charity. This is, a, this is a little extra to this video that I made a statement. You know, basically, uh, that earth is what wickedness happened at. So earth is what judgment happens at. Basically, that the earth is the stage where everything is played out at, man. Because the point was, ain't no tournaments in the spirit world. Everything happens on this side, man. All right? As the torments and the punishment and death, and death is all, is, is all punishment, is all a reward for sin and wickedness. Okay? I mean, this is, real, this is real, a really simple thing. This is um, Ecclesiastes 3.16. And moreover, I saw under the sun the place of judgment that wickedness was there and the place of righteousness that iniquity was there. So under the sun, all right, which is the earth, is what wickedness happens at. All right, and under the sun, which is the earth, which is what's called the place of judgment. So this is what everything plays out at. Wickedness plays out here, and that same and judgment that's to come upon the wicked is played out here. All right. This is Romans 623. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of the Most High is eternal life through Yahweh Shai Mashiach our Lord. So this is the punishment for wickedness. This is a punishment of sin. Death. All right? Destruction. Pain. Death. That's the reward for sin. And that happens on this side. Only the body can die. The spirit can't die. The spirit can't be tormented. The spirit is consuming fire. It's pure energy. All that happens on this side. The wages of sin is death. This is your punishment for being wicked. All right? Having affliction on this side, being put under the curse. All those things is, is punishment for being wicked. That happens on this side, man. Not in the spirit world. Because the spirit can't die. The spirit can't feel the infirmities of death. And the infirmities of death uh, uh, are the things that, that, that comes along with sin and wickedness, man. All right? Being poor, being broke, being in slavery. All right? Being sick. Those are all counted as death. All right? What is it called when we... Being in captivity, being in the grave, because you're dead, because you're in afflictions. All right? That happens on this side, man. That's the wage of sin. Death. You can't kill a spirit. Genesis 2, 17. But of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. So that's the punishment for wickedness, man. Not you getting some extra torments in the spirit world, which would be without mercy. Because the Lord loves all spirits. He programmed every spirit to do what they're doing. So can he really, you think the Lord is unjust and unfair? So he programmed everything to be how they is. And then when the wicked do what is, is programmed to be, he shows it just absolutely just no mercy, man. That's just it. You just torment it on this side and the spirit world. This is a rock 42 and um, 20, it's a rock 42, 22. Oh, how desirable are all his works and that a man may see even to a spark. All these things live and remain forever for all uses and they are all obedient. So the left and the right both obey the Lord. Those spirits are created to do what they're programmed to do. But on earth is what we play it out at. So on earth is what Esau was hated at. On earth is what he judgments come down at. But in the spirit world, all spirits are at rest. Because the Lord made those spirits do those things, man. All things are double one against another, and he has made nothing imperfect. So the Lord made the contrast, man. One thing established the good or another. Who, sh who shall be filled with beholding his glory? So every spirit is programmed to do what, is, what, what the Lord tell it to, man. But on earth is what it's played out at, and on earth is where that judgment comes down at. 
which the judgment for wickedness is death. And that can only happen in earth in a body. That's the only thing that can die. The spirit is pure energy. All things obey the Lord. So they go to the spirit world. You think he's still mad at them over that? Over doing what he programmed them to do? But that's something too deep for y'all to understand, man. That's, that's understanding judgment, man. I'm going to read, I'm gonna read this uh, Sirach again. This Sirach 11 and 23. But thou hast mercy upon all, for thou canst do all things, and winkest at the sins of men, because they should amend. For thou lovest all the things that are, and abhorrest nothing which thou hast made. For never wouldest thou have made anything if thou hast hated it. So the Lord deals with every spirit, man, the right and the left. He deals with Satan and the demons, right? Which the same spirit that worketh in, in, in Esau, the same spirit of disobedience that worketh in every fucking body right now, man. That's not the elect. But he still made them to be that, man. When they go to the spirit world, he still has that mercy upon them, man. And mercy means love and kindness for the record. And how could anything have endured if it had not been thy will or been preserved if not called by thee? But thou sparest all, for they are thine, O Lord, thou lover of souls. So when they die, man, hey, the Lord shows that love to, them, to that soul when it goes back to him, man. He gives it rest. Because death is the, is the judgment pro, uh, prescribed to, to earth. That's the sentence prescribed to us that live and breathe and walk in the flesh. Because wickedness dwells in this flesh because it was brought to the world after Adam listened to Eve when Eve was deceived by the serpent. This wisdom of Solomon too. This is wisdom of Solomon two and twenty three. For the most high created man to be immortal and made him to be an image of his own eternity. Nevertheless, through envy of the devil came death into the world, the place of judgment, the world. And they that do hold of his side do find it. So that's how you find torments and death. That's on this side of the world, man. So just because you don't understand a parable, it's a lucky about that. So uh, because you don't understand a parable, a parable, key word being parable, all right, which means it, it, it's a mystery. What you're reading is not plain, okay? It's a dark saying. A parable, all right, about a man being tormented after death. Just because you don't get it, don't mean you just start winging it, man. All right, when do we when do we get tormented after death? Second there is fourteen thirty five. We just come back in the flesh, so that's hell. Esau, the rich man, after this second death, these nukes, or after the second death, he's gonna be in hell. All right, he's gonna be in the lowest pit of hell, like we are, like we are currently, according to Deuteronomy, and it it breaks down the lowest pit of hell: captivity, slavery, destruction. These things on earth. Esau's going to be in slavery, simple as that. Ain't no torment in the spirit world. At all, man, that's crazy. Death happens on this side. Torments happen on this side, on the earth. That's a punishment and sentence prescribed to men. Not to spirits. Not to spirits, man. The Lord loves spirits, man. That's some unmerciful do ass doctrine, man. Some Catholic ass shit. Salakia. All right, this is Wisdom of Solomon 1. Look, this is Wisdom of Solomon 1 and 12. Seek not death in the error of your life and pour not upon yourself destruction with the works of your hands. All right, so don't bring destruction and death upon you with your, uh, your actions, man. Which what brings death? Sin. The wage of death is the wage of sin. Okay? For the most high made not death, neither hath he pleasure in the destruction of the living. For he created all things that they might have their being, and the generations of the world were healthful. That's, that's a key thing. The generation of the world. 
and there is no poison of destruction in them, nor the kingdom of death upon the earth. This is where that sentence plays out at, because this is where wickedness happens at. Punishments and the action that earns those punishments both happen on earth, in the flesh. For righteousness is immortal, but ungodly men with their works and words called it to them, for when they thought to have it their friend, they consumed to not and made a covenant with it, because they are worthy to take they are worthy to take part with it. It, it can't it don't get no pain in that, man. Earth is what these things have played out at, man. Every spirit is in rest with the Lord, man. The Lord is more fair and just than that, man. Don't don't put y'all mindset in, in, on, on the Lord, man. You merciless motherfuckers, man. I'm gonna read. I'm gonna check a precept out real quick. Um, I brought out another lesson, but I want to read further down to see if there's another point to it. Huh. Nah, it goes to the fact that Esau will be cuddly, utterly wiped off the earth, which something else they said, but none to this lesson. So with that, hopefully you were edified, okay? All praises, honor, and glory to you. How about Shami, how shy? Double honors to the apostles. And salutation to your brothers doing this thing in sincerity and truth and with charity. Shalom.